My name is Miss Becky, and I'm a children's librarian with the Asheboro Public Library. I'm also an art teacher, and I love being creative with kids like you. Recently, we've all had to stick around our homes a lot more lately, so I thought I'd share some art ideas with you of things that you can make at home. Since this show is called Stick Around, I thought we would start by making a project called a journey stick. A journey is a walk or a trip or an adventure. I love going on adventures, don't you? Here are some things that you can use to make your own special journey stick. Okay, before you go on your journey, you will wanna to get together some things from around your house that you can tie some nature objects that you find onto your journey stick. So I found around my home some yarn, string, some leftover ribbon that I had from birthdays and Christmas. Here's some rubber bands. You can attach things onto a stick really easily with those. You could even use dental floss if you don't have string. Here's a little cloth tie that I found. And um, these are some little twisty tie things that you can get with trash bags sometimes. And of course, you will need some scissors. Now it's time to go on your journey. You can go to a park, or a nearby public space, or even your backyard. It's probably a good idea to take a grown-up with you because they really need to get outside right now. I'm gonna take my dog. And take a box too, to put your nature items in that you find. Don't forget to find a good stick. See you soon. Okay, I'm back from my journey. And here are some of the things that I found. Here is a cool stick I found um, that I think I'll use for my journey stick. Looks like a little bug has already made a little journey on the stick. Um, I found a little pine cone that I'm pretty excited about. Here's a red rock. And um, I found this underneath. It's a seed pod that I found underneath a magnolia tree. And here is a leaf that I found under the tree. This was a cool piece of bark that I found on the ground. And I also found um, this pine branch that fell down that I thought was cool. I like the middle part because it shows where the baby pine needles grow. And I found a little tiny acorn and it has an extra hat, which I thought was kind of cool. And here's another stick that's too small for a journey stick, but I thought I might be able to use it. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. Hi, I'm back. Ta-da, here's my journey stick. Um, I had fun putting it together. I had to try a couple different things to see which worked best. And uh, that was just all part of the process. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now I have a journey stick to remind me of our journey together today. And I can hang it on my wall or um, put it in a special place in my house. Um, another idea I wanted to share with you um, is you could also make a nature weaving with objects that you find in nature. Um, I made mine out of a piece of an oatmeal box and I just cut some notches in the side and wrapped some string around it. You could also put rubber bands around it or dental floss. And then when you find objects in nature on your journey, you can just weave them into the little loom here um, and you know, with the little stems and things. And then it's a stem activity. <laughs> Well, that's all for today. I would love to see some of the things that you came up with, your journey stick or your nature weaving. If you would take some pictures and send your first name and your age if you want to ashboroughchildrensroom at gmail.com, we would love to make a little virtual art gallery um, with some of your creations. We'd also love to hear from you about any ideas that you have for art projects while you have to stick around at home. 
So I'll see you next Friday and I look forward to being creative with you again. My name is Becky. I'm with the Asheboro Public Library. Bye.